Tom, we have some major issues here. There is so much neglect happening in your bar that I saw in five minutes. How often do you rotate your beers? Not very often. Right, because at the bottom of the cooler, I found two beers that are fully rusted. Are you just stocking on top of the old beer? There should be a system of rotation. Clearly, we don't serve them, those beers. I mean, so if you we, know it's if a we, if, absolutely. Who's responsible for this? Who's responsible for making sure the bar is clean? How is this a hard question? You come in here every day. This is where you work. If I get behind my bar and it's slightly sticky, I clean it because I don't want to work like that. Take some pride in where you work. The sink area is disgusting. Even where you're just leaving your drying rack, like this is the surface you're putting it on. There's no excuse. I can't. Uh, we're not on the same page. So what you're saying to me is, John, yeah, I know better. I just chose not to do it. Is that what you're saying? If I come in and do it on my shifts and it's not being delegated by them, then it confuse, it's going to confuse everything and it, it just isn't. So you're a partner when you want to be. You're standing at your own bar last night drinking. It's over pouring. He's giving it away. You let me down. And then at the end, he leaves and doesn't even care to clean him. Now, none of those are mistakes. It's not like you're running this from another city. When did you stop caring? Uh, probably when we had, you know, con consecutive quarters with, with losses. It just kind of beat me up. So you come here, you don't walk through, you don't give it. You go home, you stare your wife in the face, and you say, I lost 6,500 again, honey. Is that the deal? Apparently it is. It's inexcusable, and I'm, I'm willing to change. Why today will you change when last month you had no issues? I haven't given any reason to, to believe that. The root of the failure here is within you, because you know better. Has anybody ever said to you, girl, you're supposed to wipe this stuff down? Here's a chemical you use to clean this. No. How is the bar going to get clean? By an act of God? It's not just a week or two of neglect. This is years of buildup. Every surface back here is sticky, has a film on it. When the bacteria is built up this much, it's going to be all over you. I need to wash my hands. Chef? Yes? I just have to note this. What is sitting here at room temperature? Chicken. You can That's smell That's raw chicken. I'll bet it's still it's not in the danger zone yet. What temperature is that? 57.2. 57 degrees. Chicken should never be over 40 degrees. What temperature is this, Steve? 68.7 degrees. Throw it out. Good job, chef. Look at it. Is there any mold on the inside of this walk-in? I don't think so, no. You don't think so? Look at the mold all over the floor. There's three significant areas of mold. Not a Oh! This isn't healthy for you. Get out of here. Get out of here. here. Toxic black mold is rare but dangerous. These molds damage vital parts of the human body, including the lungs and immune system, and are potentially fatal. Because toxic mold can spread easily through air vents, any infestations found in one area of the bar can render the entire building unsafe. What's this walk-in? Oh, f me. No way! This is a fort. Oh, here. dude, you got Spores, they have their own unique smell. You don't want to be breathing that stuff in. Look at this! Oh my god. Get the f out of here! Get the f out of here! This is unbelievable! Dude. Check Steve Wesley! I gotta have this tested. If this is black mold, we are all in trouble. I'm out of here! This place is dangerous for Christ's sakes! Nobody eats this freaking food! Hi, good, how are you? Here's your beer list, and back of it is your food list, okay? Thank you. I've never seen so much empty space in a bar in my life. Or a bar where I felt like I had to whisper. Yeah, seriously, right? Do you brew your own beer here? No, we don't. You don't, so you're not a brew house. Right. Because you're called a brewing company. I'm trying to figure this out. How many beers do you actually have? I believe uh, I've had in this country. Eighteen. The sign says you have a hundred. Right, right. Give me one of those for now. Okay. We'll see if it's cold and if it's right. Is that the way a beer should look when you serve it? You didn't pour the beer correctly because it has no head on it. 
Most of the flavor comes from the head of a beer, but the glass is so dirty that the head wouldn't formulate in the first place. So let's see if you can pour me one correctly. Try it again. Wow. All right, let's try round two. That's more like it. You all right? Oh my God. My first beer in there was really nasty and bitter. It was kind of a no-win situation in the liquor department there. Something has to be wrong with their draft beer system. <sighs> this bar's all about beer, so I brought in just the right expert. Let's see what you get out. Got some brown stuff on that one there. And you and can this smell is it. symptomatic of the lines not being clean. Every beer distributor cleans their lines where their beer is at. Do you know when your lines were clean last? They were clean Monday. They were clean Monday? No way. Is that clean? No. You don't verify anything. You can't even get two inches of chrome clean. I see now why you want to sell the place. Let's go see the beer cooler. Last night, Maria spit out her beer, and the customers are saying that it's flat. So today, I want Neil to go through the beer system top to bottom. Look at that. That's mold. White, bloomy mold. All that stuff's going right into your beer lines. Is anybody even checking on this? I mean, you got to validate this stuff. There's obvious signs of neglect in the system. There's mold growing down there. Richard needs to learn more about his draft system in order to serve the best beer he possibly can. We got a lot of work to do. We got to have to replace some of these lines and yeah. rotate kegs, of course. Let's go up to the kitchen, OK? The first impression that I had actually hit my nose. I could smell the fact that they hadn't cleaned. So when I come in here and I can do this, this is actually mold that starts to build on the outside of here. So what is this? Uh, it's just flour cajun for our pickles. OK, so do you guys think maybe that would be mushrooms from November 29th? Oh, would you want to eat yeah. out of that? No. Nah. This is bacteria. This is a five-minute project at the end of a shift. Inside of the reach-ins, there's a fan. When that fan blows around, it blows all of those spores all over the inside of the reach-ins. Dirty, disgusting. This is your laziness. That's, that's grease. Look at this. This is off of your back walls, man. This is why your kitchen smells. Scott, I want to ask you a question. Do you think he's a good employee? He's got passion. Passion for what? Putting out a good product. Really? Yes. On that grill? Is that passion? Do you have pride? Yes, sir. Bull this kitchen was disgusting. The fryer was filthy. There was thick grease all over the walls. Billy's not a great employee. He's a lazy slob. You make a conscious choice to say it. I'm not going to clean that. I'm going to leave instead. I don't care how good you are. I'd fire him right now. I got the right guy here. I, I, I promise. I'm not sure of that. Billy, when I come back here, I want to see this place clean. I suggest you clean this place all night. And if you don't change your choices, you're not going to work here anymore. In that drink, it had something black in it. Look. Oh, OK. There's just something floating in there. They need to figure out what, what is floating in there, where it's coming from. She said there was something floating in her Sprite. Um, that's fine. They're just going to make another one and just pretend that it didn't happen? Ugh. What the hell is that? Ooh, I don't know what that is. What are they yelling about? So there's about? two drinks to something floating. Now, one was a soft drink from the gun. Yeah. This is not from the gun at all. No. If something's in a soda and his drink, it's probably coming from where they scoop the ice from. So it would contaminate everything. Let's go in and find it. Who's had a black speck in their drink? Anybody have a black speck in your drink? Has anybody said that to you tonight? That there's something in my drink? Yes. Has it happened other times? With people with stuff in their drinks, yes. And what did you do about it, Liz? I just got ice and I didn't see anything. If you have something in your drink, and you have something in your drink, and you have something in your drink, then there's some bacteria or bugs or something in this place. I want to find out what the hell it is, Phil. Where do you get your ice from is my question. Ice machine back here. OK, let's go, go take a look at that, John. This is where the ice is made, is in this little block right here. Holy Oh! Oh, my God! Oh! Oh! I've Look never this. cleaned the ice machine. You see all that water? Oh! Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, wow. 
You think your customers, if Absolutely they knew about this, not. would they want to be drinking anything? I don't anything want to drink out of that. Absolutely not. This is what your guests are drinking right now. Every single time that they're in here, they're drinking this. Come with me. This is what's inside the ice machine. Look at it. Oh, my, oh my God. God. I'm oh done. God. Here you go, Liz. This is for you. It's gross. Get all the ice out and clean it. Kim, you manage her because she obviously can't manage herself. This place is a hole. So I'm closing your freaking bar. No more tabs. No more smoking behind the bar. No more disrespecting her father's legacy. That is over. And when you do your job, I'll come back and save your ass. The cakewalk is over. Now that Jason is humbled up, it's time to hold him accountable. He's going to learn what responsibility is. Here's the deal. He gets complete authority over this building for the next 24 hours. Got it. You're a bar back. OK. You work for him. OK. You don't question anything. Understood. He tells you to sweep a floor, what do you do? Sweep the floor. That's the deal. What you think, what you feel means nothing to me, just like it meant nothing to you how they felt. All I care about is him delivering for you. Understood. So you ready to go to work? Yeah. Ready? OK. Understood. I brought you the best. Mia, come on in. Mia is one of the greatest mixologists when it comes to speed and production. Jason. Yes, ma'am. Bar back. Show me your ice room. This is going to be interesting. I don't think he's ever iced a bin here, ever. OK, so fill me up. I don't think he's going to know what to do. What's this deal up here? It, this is the, uh, the filtration? Yeah. OK. Just scoot around me. I just want to check that out. I don't think he has a clue what he's doing. Oh, my god. Look at this. Rust. Rust? That's freaking mold. Oh my god. No. No, 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 no. This is in all of your eyes. We can't make drinks with this. God. What oh god. What's wrong? Oh my god. It's covered in mold. This is absolutely disgusting. It's caked on. Oh god. This is your ice. That is on all of your ice. That's from the actual unit that the ice falls through. You think I'm going to serve drinks with this? No. Matter of fact, here. Wear some since you own it. There you go. There is your badge of honor. You want the prime dip? Yeah, that's prime rib dip. That's what she was recommending. Okay. Yeah, it's really good here. I like the half rack of rib. Half rack, half rack? OK. So, John, I'm just a little confused about Reva. She's not helping anything. No. So either she doesn't know me or she doesn't care. Exactly. She almost seems a little intimidated. OK, so these are the ribs. When were these made? My goodness. What is the date on these? These are, like, petrified. No date, no label. Is that mold on those ribs? Ew! That is so Ew. scary. They're like boiled. That's the, that's a silverware caddy. That is a utensil holder. There's meat in there. Oh, that's the oh. prime rib. Oh, God. Oh, that is disgusting. Chef, he can't eat this food. That is no. not servable at all. So we need to find out when that was made. We can't let Justin eat this food. Go in, find out when this is made. Stop this, OK? Right. Yeah, I got it. Hey, 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 Randy. come here. Mars. Come come with me. Bring those here. Hey, I wanted John's experts, and we were just watching you. Hold on, keep that right there, huh? Excuse me for one second. Ew! Oh, my god! What, what is this? You know this is here. And you're serving this shit? Are you kidding me? I haven't been to work in, in three days, OK? I mean, Mike doesn't even understand what the hell Jason is saying. What are you, what are you? <laughs> Look at this. I want Reva to see this. Okay. She's the one who needs to see this. I'll be back. All right. Congratulations. You're the worst f***ing cook I've ever worked oh, with. Oh, you, bitch ass mother
Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.